Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's me back again. Right. This time I want to show you this little beauty that's landed on my bench. Now, um, this is a Heathkit GR78, which superseded the Mohican, which I already have a Mohican, which is over here. Uh, you see her sitting there? Um, anyway, this one I had a few days ago. Bought as spares or repair, really. And it's been a bit challenging, but uh, that's going on 40 metres at the moment. Yeah, there you can hear a couple of guys chatting on 40. Um, yeah, I had uh, quite a few things wrong with this one. It wasn't going when I got it. Um, it's pretty dead, really. <laughs> uh, but that's the sort of challenge I like. And, um, yeah, anyway, I found uh, um, open circuit electrolytic capacitors. I know a capacitor is like an open circuit anyway, but uh, these didn't actually capacitate. <laughs> uh, they, they were just open circuit, like there's nothing there. Um, so uh, that, that one of those was stopping the audio from the, the RF section getting through to the uh, audio amp. And uh, anyway, that got it, got some noise out of it. And uh, but I changed a couple of um, IF transistors. They had been changed by somebody, but not soldered very well and uh, weren't very good. So uh, I redone them. And the uh, AVC uh, transistor wasn't working. Uh, the BFO transistor wasn't working. <laughs> but when I measured the BFO transistor, it uh, it measured all right on the uh, my little component tester. But anyway, I changed it, and uh, lo and behold, it started oscillating. So um, that's what you can hear going with the obviously the sideband now. Um, but yeah, um, it needs a new dial string. At the moment, I'm just turning the uh, the main pulley by hand and using the uh, band spread, which works okay. Had to repair that as well. <laughs> There's a little bit of um, mechanical work needed doing on that. Um, the S meter wasn't reading. D it doesn't read now very well, but it's not. <coughs> Oi, it's not bad. <laughs> Uh, sorry, that's my dog, and um, it was. I found it was wired in the wrong way round on the board, so uh, so it must have been going against a stop all the time, you know, in the reverse direction. So I don't know, strange. Um, yeah, so uh, I I took um, I had a transformer in here for a charge in the internal NICAD, but. Um, <coughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to let me dogs out. Hang on a, hang on a second. Right, and you can tell this is all action here. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, the had a transformer in there, but, but all that did was charge the um, the internal NICAD pack that used to be in it. Didn't actually run the radio strange arrangement but anyway I took all that out and there was no NICAD pack with it anyway but I took the transformer out and it had a somebody had stuck a power supply board in down here that was made up uh, which is this one so I took all that out um, I put my own DC socket on the back it runs off nine well nine to ten volts I got it on nine and a half on the power supply but I put a DC socket on the back and, uh, and I put my own antenna socket on the back which is uh, BN no a phono which is the ones I use on all my stuff um, it's got um, 
telescopic, which is, was all right. Just got the top bit missing on it, so I uh, just uh, stuck that plastic bit on the top there, and uh, so that extends all right. Um, yeah, so um, quite a lot of bits, but it's a good, a good project. So um, I'm waiting on the dial string to arrive. So uh, I'll restring that and hopefully get it all. Uh, going you know dial going um i oh, also the speaker was duff in there <laughs> yeah the, the guy who advertised it said it worked on headphones so i guess there's something wrong with the speaker or the wiring but it's the actual speaker so uh that's um this one here a five by a five by three elliptical um anyway you can see i it, the wire is actually broke on the coil right inside, so I tried to get to it, but couldn't fix that. So, um, so I ordered and got another one off eBay, brand new one for three pounds. <laughs> Not exactly the same, but it's a five by three anyway. So when that arrives, that'll be going in the case. The actual case, I've sprayed um, Hammerite black to match my other radios. Um, I've only just done that today, so I uh, can't really show you that. I still uh, I want it to dry properly. Um, yeah, but uh, it's uh, I've had it working. On, it works on all bands. I've tried it on all bands, but they're quite a way out. You know, when you get to the end of the tuning, like band uh, E, for instance, you go up to 18 megs. It's only going up to about. 16 and a half, 17. So uh, I just adjusted the trimmer, you know, the oscillator trimmer. But anyway, it needs all realigning properly, which I'll do when I get it all, uh, when I get the dial string on it and all that, you know. But uh, but yeah, it works pretty good. And uh, just listen to it really for now. Uh, I can soon find like 40 meters or anything. I just put signal generator on, you know, on seven point two or some megs put a tone on it modulate it and then just find it quickly on air and just use the band spread to uh tune around I'll, uh, Fox Tango 990. Echo India 8 Bravo, Lima Bravo, G3 PQD. Yeah, so you can hear it, it works pretty well, it's good. And I've had broadcast stations on it, you know, and uh, they sound good. So yeah, quite pleased with it so far. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll do another video when I get it, to, you know, get the speaker in and... Uh, get the dial string on hopefully <laughs> um you know and uh do an up updated video but um yeah so uh but yeah, it's been a good challenge this one and uh enjoyed it well enjoying it so um anyway i'll say cheers for now and um hope you enjoyed the video I, i'm sure uh, you'll find it entertaining <laughs> And I'll uh, I'll catch you again soon uh, on another video, which uh, hopefully will be an update on this one. Uh, with all the case on, and that should look pretty nice, I think. So um, this is G7ILP Kev saying bye for now.